Hello, my name is Mike, and I'm here to show a feature for the fantasy football version of Draft Buddy, and that feature is called MyFantasyLeague.com Integration. Now, in a prior video, I showed MFL integration for keepers, where we could input keepers for keeper and dynasty leagues into Draft Buddy. In this one, we're going to use MFL integration for importing draft results, and that is going to apply not just to keeper and dynasty leagues, but to all leagues that use MyFantasyLeague.com and do their draft online, whether it be a slow draft or a live draft. As long as those picks are input into your MFL league online, then we can import those results into DraftBuddy. Now what I'm going to do to, uh, to show this is I'm going to use uh, one of the leagues I'm in here. It's called the Dynasty Experts League. It's run on MyFantasyLeague.com, of course. It's a deep dynasty league. There are 12 teams in the league. We have individual defensive players, and the rosters you know, carry over from one year to the next. Uh, we have a max of 40 uh, roster spots. And uh, even though those players carry over every year, we still have an annual rookie and free agent draft. And we're in the middle of the draft right now, actually. So let me click to the draft tab here, draft page, and you can see that our draft is ongoing. We're into the uh, second round, uh, pick 2.09 or 21st overall. So it's a slow draft, but we're doing it online. We're inputting the picks. So this is uh, perfect for Draft Buddy's MFL integration feature. I can get these draft results into Draft Buddy and not have to input every pick as it happens in Draft Buddy. So let's go over to Draft Buddy, and the first thing we need to do is set up Draft Buddy for this league in particular. All right, we need the Draft Report tab to be the same length as we expect it to be for the league, and you would you would set up Draft Buddy anyways for any league that you're going to use it for uh, by putting in the starters, backup, scoring, other settings, and that type of thing. It is 12 teams. The uh, draft is eight rounds. The max roster size is 40. And the keepers are 40 as well. So I'll put that in right here on the rules tab. Now, like I said, at this point, we would put in the starters and backups. We put in the scoring. Uh, for the demonstration, we don't need to do that. I really just need that draft report tab to be you know, the right length to input the, uh, to refresh the picks from the uh, MFL integration feature. Okay, uh, You might also put in the uh, the uh, owner and team names on the owners tab. This is something you can do before or after setting up Draft Buddy. But uh, right now we have the main features in, uh, main settings in. So let's go over to the action tab. We need to make sure that the reset keepers and reset draft order and picks options are both set to yes, which they are. That's because it's the first time that we're setting up this league. All right, so hit compile cheat sheets. And what this does is it you know, draft buddy creates the new cheat sheets for you based on your league settings, but also sets up the other tabs for the uh, for the league that you want to use draft buddy for. Okay, and in this case, it's going to uh, show the keepers tab. You know, it started us off in the offense tab with which is the uh, main cheat sheets. The uh, keepers tab is uh, right here, so you can see there's 40 spots we can put in keepers. Okay, but we don't need that for for this feature that we're going to show. We're going to show the uh, draft results import. So I'm over on the draft report tab and we'll see that scrolling down here it goes uh, eight rounds. There are 12 teams. So uh, once you put the, t the names in for each of the teams they would populate over here on the uh, draft report tab. And then if you had any picks traded or whatnot you'd still have to put those in. Make sure your draft order is correct. But the important thing we want to show here is how to get the uh, picks in from this draft. Okay so again here's the draft right here. Uh, Giovanni Bernard was the first pick, Monty Ball was the second pick. But we need to tell Draft Buddy at this point what MFO league we want to grab the draft results from. So we're going to go to the Options tab, okay, right here. This is the top of the Options tab. So scroll down a little bit and you'll see a box that says MFL Integration. Uh, inside that box it says, If MyFantasyLeague.com runs your league, let Draft Buddy help import keepers or draft results. Okay, the only setting you need to put in here is the unique league ID for your league on MFL. And what that is, it's a five digit number. And if you go to MFL, uh, your MFL league in your web browser, you'll notice that the URL, every page on your MFL league has a unique five digit number, okay? In this case, it's 17503. Okay, if I go over to the home page, I'll see the same number in the URL, it's 17503 right there. Okay, if I had a different league in MFL, then we're gonna see a different five-digit number. So right here is a different league of mine, uh, 14988, okay? Uh, but going back to the Dynasty Experts League, 
It is 17503. That's the number we want to grab and put right in here into draft ID 17503. Again, I'm on the Options tab, MFL Integration box. Okay, And that's the only thing you need to put in in terms of settings. Now let's go to the Draft Report tab. And for those who used DraftBuddy before, you'll notice a new button here. It says Refresh Live Draft Results Using MFL Integration. Okay, We're going to click that. First time you do it, it's going to give you a prompt to say, you know, have you got the right five-digit number in? Did you watch this instruction video? And you're going to click uh, yes to those. We're going to wait a second, and there are the draft results. Okay, they've come right in for us. Uh, this is great. And now we should see all these players on the rosters. Okay, they're going to come off the cheat sheets right there. You can see uh, Le'Veon Bell is taken. Uh, Monty Ball is taken, Eddie Lacy is taken, so they're marked off the cheat sheets, they're on the rosters, and we've got all these draft results in to draft buddy without by the press of one button instead of picking every individual player. Like that still works, of course. Uh, you know, if we were over here and we um, you know selected a player, Arian Foster, click draft player, he would go into the next pick on the draft report tab right there. Okay? But if you run your league on MFL, then you have this option to pull in the draft results with just the click of a button on the draft report tab instead of inputting every every pick individually. All right? Let me get rid of Arian Foster here, so you can just highlight and his position and player name and hit delete on the draft report tab, and now he's gone. And what I'd like to show is you can also not just get the draft results from the start of the draft, but you can refresh it as the draft progresses. All right, as I said over here. Uh, I'm up in this draft. All right, it's my turn as FF today. Okay, I'm going to click on uh, my main page here so I can make a draft pick. Okay, and the guy I'm going to grab is you know, we're mostly rookies and free agents. Remember, I'm going to get uh, St. Louis wide receiver Stedman Bailey and select him. All right, so let me make that draft pick. Okay, he's been added to my roster. We see him there. More importantly, on the draft report tab, we should see him right here. There he is, Stedman Bailey, FF Today, pick 21. Okay, so this draft report tab is now updated further than we have Draft Buddy updated. All right, so what I'd like to see is I'd like to see the draft results updated on in Draft Buddy. Now, what I could do is I could go find Stedman Bailey in Draft Buddy on the cheat sheets or on the depth chart and, and select draft player and that'd be fine. But, you know, imagine if you had a few picks that you were behind on. You you don't want to enter each one if you don't have to. So simply I need to uh, just hit the refresh button again. Okay? And it should refresh all the picks. And there we go. There's Stedman Bailey appeared for my pick at uh, 2.09. A, the again that would work whether we were behind one, two, three, four, or a dozen picks, and uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. So that's MFL integration for draft results using uh, Draft Buddy for fantasy football.